Hi guys and welcome to another episode of JDN Masters and today it's a little bit different as you can see it's not daytime it's night and we are in front of very famous and iconic Tokyo Tower and what are we doing here today well if you look over there we have a group of our friends and we usually go out on drives uh, around the city and tonight it's something a little bit special we're going to be checking out photo spots in fact some of these photo spots are so popular that they've made it into the Gran Turismo sport game. Now, for those of you who play the game, you'll probably notice there's a mode called Skates inside. It's a bit different from the older versions uh, that started from Gran Turismo 4 and 5 and 6. The photos inside are actual photos taken by real photographers and you actually put your 3D image car and it kind of like just, the AI just makes it like it's real. So we're going to be checking out how reality has gone into um, fiction or a computer generated world and, and how we relive that again and we're going to be checking out two or three spots today um, that is exactly the same as in the game but also just to show you what the Tokyo nightlife and just maybe a couple of cars around the area so come and join us so we're going to be going to a place called Koredo and it's in the middle of the it's really great um, it's got a very rare stone paved road which uh -huh. um, is lined up with lots of um, expensive and high-end shops we're gonna be looking at some of the more upper class it's like Soho in, in London um, and just see just check out the scene there I'm gonna take some great photos and let's see how that matches up Now we have reached one of our first photo spots and you may think that this is just, well, a lot of office blocks and it probably looks like office blocks around the world. But this is right in the middle of Nihonbashi and um, a lot of these places are, you know, high-end shopping centers and also office buildings. What's interesting is that this is one of the few roads that is kind of like cobblestone, a bit different from uh, maybe like traditional European cobblestones. But here we're in a place called Koredo. We're going to come here and try and do some scenic shots uh, with night lights and just see how that turns out. And today uh, we happen to have a lot of our friends here. We have quite a wide variety of cars. We've got Japonics R35, Elbows, Yellow S2000, and we got an Omoren R34 GTR, the Bayside Blue. And back there, you can't really see it, it's a black RX7 FD3S belonging to a racing driver friend of ours called Jake Parsons. Some of you might follow him. Ken M's R32 GTR, which you've seen in our previous Very video. Special Very special GTR. <laughs> and we're just a group of car friends. Uh, we come up very often, come for drives. And this is where we're going to show you how we do this kind of photography. Yuri, who sometimes helps us in our photo shoots for the channel. And he's got a very artistic mind with shooting, especially night shots. And he does some of our moving shots. And we're going to be very interested to see what we can come up with, you know, what, essentially a very plain looking or drab looking um, structure. But look at this carefully. It is just a very Neo-Tokyo sort of modern architecture mixed with old. And you can see uh, behind me in the windows, that is a traditional art style called Ukiyo-e, which is like the floating world. Uh, it goes back to the Edo era from the 16th century. And all these art styles really represents uh, the essence of uh, Japanese modern pop art. So, you've got the old and the new, and you have some classic, beloved 90s JDM cars. We're just gonna see how we can put all that together to make these fantastic, colorful, and bright photos. So now we've arrived at Nihonbashi. And as you can see behind me here, um, it's basically, we're on a little bridge. It's a stone bridge, and there's a monument um, here with very old style uh, lanterns. And you can tell this has been, you know, made during the Meiji era. 
uh, maybe over 100 years old. And this is actually below the Stuttgart Expressway and it kind of runs in between. But what's so special about this spot, and we talked about in the Grand Tourism, if you look here, this is exactly the same spot. Now we're gonna rearrange the cars a little bit later on, uh, but we have Albo's car and Japonic's car and mine. And you can put a maximum of three cars in the game and we're gonna try and do that a little bit later. But a little history of what Nihon Bashi is. So Nihon means Japan, Bashi is bridge. So both characters means like Japan's bridge. This very spot is kilometer zero from which all distances out of the capital are measured. And if you go out on the Tome Expressway or to any distances, um, whether north or south of Tokyo, uh, there's always a sign on the highway uh, with markers saying, uh, like for example, 70 kilometers to Nihonbashi. So this is where exactly it, it is measured. And this route also uh, hosts the road for the Hakone Ekiden, which is a marathon, a group marathon that runs all the way from Tokyo to Hakone. And they use this spot as the, as the starting point. So, um, real bright lights, and we're here on a weekday night, and it's just amazing to see just the different colors that show up really brightly, um, especially when we're doing night photography. Uh, we have a couple of our friends that we just went for a drive. We're going to be exploring a little bit about around Tokyo as well, and how, just how that feels, um, you know, instead of driving out on the mountains and for a change, we're driving in the city. Sometimes it's very relaxing, it's very soothing, in fact. And then stopping here for photo opportunities like this, and we're going to try and re replicate it exactly like in the game. So let's see how we do it. And the police is kicking us out. Give us two minutes, policeman. You're so nice. So we're now back at the spot called Koredo, which is very near Nihonbashi where we were uh, earlier um, to do that exact Gran Turismo shot. So how all those spots were decided uh, by the programmers of the game? I think it's probably because those were already very scenic photo spots uh, for normal photographers and it just had a nice combination with cars. So, but I really feel that there could be a lot more spots around uh, the Tokyo area, such as this right here. So this is the Tori Gate, which is a, the gate to the heavens in the Shinto religion. And the sign up there says Fukutoki Jinja. And there is a shrine right in the middle of uh, the Ginza district and surrounded by these modern, neo kind of Edo-ish style buildings. And it's just a wonderful combination of uh, classic and traditional uh, designs and features. And let's have a look over here at this building, at Corredo Number 2. You can see those lanterns over there, uh, which have these round and square motors and just the street down there. And you can see our friend Albo, he's doing a little, some photos. And how everything is just really simple squares and just laid out in a way that just gives this really nice warm mood. And, you know, we have our cars parked here, for example, right now, and it's just against this backdrop. 90s JDM car in the middle of Tokyo. You have modern buildings at the back and a traditional ginger right at the front. This combination is just something so surreal about it. And I would really hope uh, that the programmers of Gran Turismo will probably include this spot. Um, we would definitely recommend and suggest this uh, into the photoscapes. So we've come to the end of our journey of um, various photo spots uh, around Tokyo tonight and right here now we're in a very interesting place which is nicknamed Little Italy but you can see these buildings behind us uh, kind of looks like, like something from Rome. You see these big pillars and you see the big sign over there. Uh, the owner of this building is JRA which is actually the Japan Racehorse Association and it's quite interesting because um, cars and horses, horsepower, there's a sort of relation but we're on a cobbled sidewalk here with all our cars lined up and we've got all these different colors but we're actually also beside a major railroad trunk and we're just going to wait for uh, some trains to pass by and we're trying to get uh, some nice moving scenic shots. We're just trying to hope we get a shot of the train passing by and there it is. Oh, it's the blue line. So this is the JR line and it, um, it, it's, it's a huge network in Japan. You can see trains are just still running past midnight. And if what, something's really interesting about uh, the train networks here is that um, even if you've you know, gone for some drinks after work, 
Uh, you can be sure to catch the last train after midnight and still get back home. So, but we're out here driving and um, just enjoying the, the night sights and scenes and lights here. Wow. Look at that. I've got the monorails going up, crisscrossing each other. And also another thing, like all the trains in Japan are electric. So in Jap Japanese, it's called den sha. Den is electric. Sha is like a, a carriage, so uh, electric train. And uh, we've got all motorized vehicles. Uh, I mean, sometimes when we do go out, uh, drives around the city, we're, we're kind of like, a, you know, a choo-choo train, kind of like a, a carriage car, a choo-choo train line, you know? <laughs> So let us know in the comments if you would like to see any other kind of scenes um, that you want us to feature in Tokyo. And <laughs> come here, come. You know what's really cool? It's like the JR Line train is green. Yeah. That's the only other color we were missing from our lineup. You have silver, black, yellow, uh, red, blue, white. <laughs> so we need all the cars at all the spectrum, right? Yeah, we have all the skills. You know, where, what car would be great green? What classic JDM car would be great green, you think? British Racing Green. So there's got to be an Miata. NB Miata. Yes. Wait, don't NB you? Miata. I do, in fact, have one. Ah. Yes, but we're going to be painting it yellow. No. No, don't paint it yellow. But we have to. Wow, you have that's two, a, you that's have two a good bananas. Point. That's a good point. We actually might just paint it uh, green again. <laughs> green again. It, it makes sense because the interior is tan. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So we got Elbow here with us. Hey. Cut to the channel. spot. <laughs> 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 he always says that. Anyway. <laughs> um, today, he's... He's Bin Diesel, and I am Sam Kang. Yeah. Please cast us in the next Fast and Furious movie. Yes. Yeah. Real Drift Tokyo. Tokyo anyway. Grip. Tokyo, <laughs> Tokyo <laughs> Grip. That's our future shiny. movie. I'm shiny. Yeah, my, my, my head is very shiny right now, right? Okay. He, he, did this, he did this for aerodynamics, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> improved aerodynamics. I, I felt... Uh, Slipping through the, air. I, f I feel about five percent more aerodynamic. So your car is actually faster at the top speed now. It is, it is. With it the is. roof down, even. Yeah, it is. It's it's great. <laughs> it, it's very efficient. It works. <laughs> Another thing, we're now at the beginning of summer, and the weather's just perfect for open top driving. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why my car is the best one here. Oh wait, but you haven't. We're going to do a challenge. We have to do a challenge between your S2000, which is a two million yen car, and Japonic's very cheap but modified NC Roadster. Two roads, two open cars, sports. You know, tuned in a different way. And let us know in the comments if you want to see that battle happen. Well, alert, Japonic's better. <laughs> We shall see. We shall see. Hope you enjoyed this, this little drive around Tokyo. And um, let us know in the comments uh, if you like us to feature more iconic areas which um, people uh, really know about. Like, for example, Shibuya or Shinjuku. There's lots of different places um, that we can go to and look for all these spots. So um, thanks for joining, guys. And um, peace out.